Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out Fizzy Foundation. I've got Coco here today. She's really clingy, so she's gonna be sitting on my lap as I film this video, aren't you? Oh yes, you like that. The product I'm trying out today is the Tov Special Edition Camellia Cooling CC. This is a lightweight color correcting cream that's moisturizing, has whitening benefits, is anti-aging, and has an SPF of 50 plus. The CC cream comes in a can like this, and on the end is a water drop shaped applicator. In the box, there's also a spare applicator, so you can change it later on. Now, when you dispense this product and apply it onto your skin, apparently it has a cooling sensation. So it's meant to be really good for those summer hot months. So to dispense the product, all you need is shake the can up before you spray it. And you press down on the back of the applicator to dispense the CC cream. I don't know if you guys can see it, but when I spray it, you could see like a bit of the, um, the air or a little bit of smoke come out. Can you see that? It's the gas, I think. Super weird, but I'm going to apply the foundation on my skin now. Oh my gosh, it's really cold. It's so cold. Wow, this color is quite light. Um, the color I got was, I think, what color? 21 light beige, and I think they only have two colors, like most, you know, Korean foundations or BBCC creams, they only have a couple shades. But yeah, wow, this is actually so cooling on my skin. It's still cold. I feel like the coverage to this is quite light. It doesn't give you great coverage. It's more like a lightweight, um, you know, color correcting cream. So I think some people use this as a base. If they want like fuller coverage, they'll use it as a base and then apply, you know, the regular foundation on top. But if you want something just lightweight, like an everyday look, um, you can use this by itself. I find the applicator to this pretty easy and useful. Like you can use it to tap or just, you know, swipe to blend the CC cream out. And it's also great for getting into like, you know, the small spots around your nostrils. And I even applied it all the way underneath my eyes. So it's great for that. It is a little bit hard, however. I feel like they could have made it a little bit more spongy so it feels nice on the skin, but it does the job. So that's half my face done. As you can see, it has really color corrected my skin. All the redness on this side has gone. It also gave me a really lightweight coverage. And you know what, the color's not too bad. I think like once I blended it out, it doesn't look too crazy light. I'm gonna quickly do the other side of my face. I'm gonna give it a good shake. Now, it's important that you spray this before you apply it on, as in like not whilst it's on your face. Also, this is highly flammable, and when, when I spray it, there's like, like a slight gas smell to it. But obviously, you know, once you apply it, it goes away. I literally feel like I'm spraying deodorant on my face or something. I would definitely recommend this more for, you know, summer or spring months, otherwise it's pretty cold to apply throughout winter. I think I may have sprayed a little bit too much on this side. I just took away some of my eyebrows. I'm just gonna quickly resurrect my brows. Here's a close-up look of how the CC cream looks like on my skin. I feel like it's evened out my skin tone really well. It doesn't cover up like blemishes too well. You could see that that little pimple is still peeking through. Obviously a little concealer will fix that up. So this CC cream is pretty lightweight. It doesn't give you like crazy, like medium to full coverage. It's more light. Um, yeah, so you definitely have to go in with concealer if you have any blemishes or spots you want to cover up. Also, you can see that it's quite dewy on my skin. It's quite luminous. Um, so if you have a more like combination to oily skin type, you're definitely gonna need to set this, especially in those like hot summer months. You definitely need to set this. I'm gonna set it with a little bit of powder, but I'm not gonna go in with any extra foundation or anything. I'm gonna finish off my makeup and I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day to see how long this CC cream will actually last. I've quickly finished off my makeup. I've just applied a little bit of powder on top just to set the T-zone areas. Otherwise, it'll just like move around my skin too much. Also, I applied some blush and bronzer just to try to make the color match my um, skin tone a little bit better. 
I feel like number 21 is a tad light for me, but you know, that's kind of like the case with most cream foundations that I try. It's a little bit on the fairer end. So I'm gonna leave this CC cream on for the rest of the day to see how it looks and feels on my skin. And then I'll come back to do my conclusion. I'm back and it's been about eight hours since I've applied this CC cream on. You know, like I went shopping, I picked up the mail, I dropped my dog off at my mom's house, I had dinner, I went out all day and I did not touch up my face at all, not even my lips actually, it's all gone now. But I wanna give you a close up look at my skin. Considering I didn't touch up my skin at all, I feel like the CC cream lasted really well on my skin. Um, I did powder it before I left and that kind of made it a little bit matte, but now like as the day has gone by, it's gone back to like a dewy finish. It's really nice. Also, I didn't apply any concealer underneath. I just literally used the CC cream underneath and yeah, there's no cracking, no nothing. I'm pretty impressed with this CC cream actually. I think the only thing about this is maybe the color doesn't match me perfectly. I would probably prefer the darker shade. I think it's like 22. So there's only like 21 and 22. I would go the 22 for my skin tone, but I mean like I just bronzed and I add a bit more like blush and stuff and kind of made it still work a bit. Overall, I quite like this product. I really like, you know, the whole experience of using it. It's really different. Um, it's quite an experience and I actually really love the cooling sensation. It feels really soothing on the skin. So I think it's really good for those of you who have maybe like more sensitive skin that are prone to redness. The cooling sensation may help to soothe the redness even like, you know, before you apply the rest of your makeup. This could be a really cool product to use. I feel like the applicator is quite easy to use. The only thing is it does smell a bit like gas when you first spray it out. So not sure if that's like good or anything, but the smell goes away straight after. It's just like when you spray anything like from a can, it has that gas smell. So after a day of wearing this CC cream, I would rate it an eight out of 10. I actually quite like it on my skin. I like that it's really hydrating and moisturizing. So it doesn't like cling to any dryness or any patchy areas and also doesn't crack on your skin, which is amazing. Because usually, you know, if I apply foundation all the way up here, maybe I'll get like little cracks or lines underneath, but they just didn't do that to me. Also, because I don't need a lot of coverage on my skin, I feel that I can just, you know, use this on its own. However, like I said before, you could use this under as a base, so you can apply, you know, normal foundation and conceal on top. Just, so just use this as a color corrector. But for me, I'm quite happy, you know, using it just as a base. As for the price, you can get this baby online for $25, which I feel like is fairly affordable. But in saying that, I don't know how much, um, how many times you can use it. it kind of feels light but I don't know maybe because it's just in a can it says here you get 60 mils of product so that's my feel on this product I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Tina tries it if there's any other products you want me to try make sure you tag me on Instagram or you know just let me know below in the comments section for now please subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you guys next time bye